I'm Dr. Cooperon. I am a sinus specialist and sinus surgeon and a board certified ear, nose, and throat surgeon. The question is, how do I know if I have a deviated septum and what can I do about it? There are so many people walking around with deviated septums who don't even know it. Some of the really key hallmark symptoms uh, of a deviated septum are feeling like one side of your nose is constantly more blocked and restricted than the other. Uh, occasionally you can have nosebleeds on the side that's more narrow from the deviated septum due to increased turbulent airflow. And lastly, a lot of patients who have a deviated septum find that if they're side sleepers at night, they tend to sleep on the side of their face toward which the septum is deviated. So if my septum is deviated to the left, I end up sleeping on my left side because that side's already kind of compromised. And at least if I sleep on my left, my right side kind of stays more open. And so those are some things that I hear from patients that they sleep on one side because they can't breathe through their nose otherwise, or one side's always more stuffy than the other, or I get nosebleeds and they just tend to be on one side. Um, what can you do to fix it? Well, the first step is we have to come in and figure out, you know, is your septum deviated? How deviated is it? Where is it deviated? And once we figure that out and categorize it, um, we do a simple procedure called a septoplasty, which takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Typically it is done under some anesthesia because it's something that you wouldn't want to do awake. Um, and it involves us doing uh, some surgery on the inside part of the nose. It doesn't change the way our nose looks from the outside. Um, some incisions are made deep inside the nose to remove all the crooked deviated portions of bone and cartilage. And then the septum is straight in the middle. And when you're done, you're breathing clearly through both sides. You're sleeping better. Um, you're getting better airflow through your nose. And again, quality of life, sleep improvement, all of these things are drastically improved and uh, that's really one of the most rewarding things you can do for a patient is improve their ability to breathe through their nose.